Hello friends, welcome to this month's virtual STEM program. Today I will demonstrate how to make salt dough so that you can make your own salt dough fossils. Fossils are the remains and traces of plants and animals that lived long ago. You can learn more about fossils from the books that we have available at the library. You can also learn about paleontologists who are the scientists who study fossils. I have some real fossils that were found in South Central Pennsylvania that I will put on display so that you can see what some real fossils look like. Take home kits are available now at the library for you to pick up. In the take home kit, you will find a bag of salt. It's a half a cup of salt. A half, a one cup of flour and some dinosaur toys so that you can make your fossils and you will have to provide your bowl and your half a cup of warm water. The salt dough that we create from flour, salt, and water is not for eating. You will want to keep it away from little siblings and from your pets. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make your very own salt dough so that you can make some fossils. Okay, to begin, you're going to pour your half a cup of salt that's in the bag marked with the letter S into your bowl. Then you're going to take your flour, but you're not gonna pour all of it in. You're gonna pour most of it in. You're gonna save flour and we'll show you in a little bit why. You're gonna save some. Okay. And then you're going to mix it. You can mix it with your hand, but I'm gonna mix it with this little tool I have. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly add your water. And I put this in the microwave for a minute, almost two minutes. And you can see it's starting to form into dough. So for the water, you need a half a cup. You might not use all of your water. Depending on how the um, dough looks to you, if it's too dry, maybe add more water. Or if it's too wet, you use some of the flour that you saved. So I'm gonna add some more of my warm water. Okay, I'm gonna get my hands in here and try to get that all mixed together. I'm gonna begin kneading my dough. You can see that I'm turning it up and over. I'm gonna get some wax paper that you'll find in your take home kit. And then I'm gonna pour some of that leftover flour that I saved so that I can work with my dough on the table. And I'm gonna knead it for about eight to 10 minutes. So once you have your dough all kneaded and ready to go, you're going to take some of that leftover flour again and put it on your wax paper. And then you'll take your little dinosaur and just put it in the flour for a little bit. Get some flour on it. And then you'll press your dinosaur into your dough. And you have some fossils. Okay. 
and I have some of these larger dinosaurs. I'm going to make dinosaur footprints. Okay, so now when you're finished making your fossils, if you're not happy with the results, remember you can re-knead the dough and make your discs and, and put different toys in it. You can, if you have uh, unicorn toys, if you don't want to do dinosaurs, you can do that. I baked three of my fossils in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And this is how they came out. They turned a little brown. Now these are ones that I made a few days ago and I just set them in a window where it gets direct sunlight and you can see they kind of look more authentic. So this is from just setting them out and this is from putting them in the oven. So if you would please take a picture of the fossils that you make and post the photos on our Facebook post for this uh, program or you can email them to eplibmail at yahoo.com and I really appreciate if you would send some pictures so we can see how your experiment worked out. Thanks for joining me today.